Hello, so I'm currently outside with my Hermes Ambassador. Now, this is a machine from the 60s, I believe, uh, second generation, or technically if you um, include the early 50s model, third generation, because the first generation of this Hermes Ambassador um, was technically boxier than, the than, I guess, what I'll now call the second generation, and was c probably contemporary to the Hermes 2000, while the second generation of this machine was contemporary to the first, more rounded Hermes 3000. Um, so I got this off of eBay, I already knew about the existing dents, I was able to fix them up via exotic means, and I have this wonderful machine. So, the initial thing that wasn't really working was a tabulator. I fixed that by basically going to the back of the machine here. Uh, let's find somewhere to have a mask there, because um, someone's doing air duct cleaning, and I don't know, well, probably not going to come out here, but just in case. So, yeah, this guy, as you can see, is dented. I tried fixing it a bit, but this guy will come off, or come down, pull it off, hide the mask further under the machine. Yeah, pretty much the tabulator. There was something in here that was... I'll have some other footage, probably. Um, that's connected to the tab set and clear over here. And it was basically offsetting it such that the tabulator was hitting the stop. This tries to lift and instead of going right into the slot, it hits the stop which prevents you from trying to set the tabs or clear a tab at the same time as you try to actually use the tabulator. Um, these grommets are both messed up, um, but currently just leaving this part on is actually sufficient for the time being. I might actually prefer this amount of um, resistance. If anything, I definitely hate the grommets on the bottom of my letter other 32 Those are a pain to... that was a pain to get the bottom panel off to access the escapement. Had to cut the previous clip off a bit because my poodles had to be let outside since the duct cleaner is now indoors. Anyways, now in terms of functions, hmm, I think I'll start off with the platen removal. Platen removal is pretty simple on this machine. Uh, yeah, this guy initially came shipped unable to be seated properly because it was dented. Um, these guys lift the card holders, just put out, pull out these knobs. And the platen just comes right off. If you are oriented correctly. There you go. So pretty easy plot removal. Same thing with the feed rollers and that guide. I'm not going to do that right now. Don't mind the poodles barking. So you have that red chevron. Supposed to match with that. The semicircles need to be aligned. And then you can just place it back in. Probably multiple videos I'd already cover the features, but maybe not specifically on this generation, not sure. Um, another cool thing that made me, or specifically drew me to this listing instead of a much cheaper, say, yeah, this was shipped from the United States, and as far as I've found, you can actually find these for quite less in the UK, if they actually ship. Um, so that's the carbon ribbon mechanism. Um, you set that. This is your color selector. 
So yeah, the cool thing about this machine is that it has two ribbon vibrators. So stencil, middle, and this machine pretty reliably gives you a dual color type or impression. Black. Now one thing I don't like is that probably just inherently by the mechanism, once you engage the carbon ribbon, you hear that sound and it moves it a bit first. So you kind of lose just a few letters of ink. Yeah, I mean carbon. Um yeah, loud cicadas or whatever. And as you can see, it advances. And now only this ribbon vibrator moves. Though interestingly enough this ribbon also continues moving, but that can actually be useful because in my case, the original ribbon has either one or two very dry spots, and during that part I just switched to the carbon ribbon. Um, I actually rebound this because this wasn't done as neatly, and also I was just curious to see what happens if I try to use the... Um, or reuse part of the ribbon. Um, basically, if you don't care about perfect type, you can actually do that, and you'll still get readable impressions. So that's that. Another cut. The beer lighter poodle there. Saw the duck cleaner at the side of the house, so I started barking. Anyways, so yeah, I was talking about the carbon ribbon. I think, yeah, I was going to I was thinking that this might be the touch control, but I can barely feel anything. Maybe it is the touch control. Just barely effective. Um, yep, so tab sets and clears. Tab sets. I already have a few tabs set here. Um, this is the tab, the universal tab clear. Seems like this machine has pretty nice regulator or governor for the movement of the carriage. Nice and smooth, though heavy. Of course, buttery feel. I'd argue quite superior to the Hermes 3000, um, which I find has a bit more resistance and feels like it requires more effort to type on. Um, they're still both quite nice machines. Um, eventually you'll find that you actually have a extra margin, which seems to give a fixed amount of, as it says, extra margin. And the only way to go past the second margin is to use the main margin release. Okay, let's type. The CC goes on. Man, it's getting hot in the sun. <laughs> Probably not the ideal place to be typing on this thing. Good thing I didn't bring my this one to the beach last time. Uh, Lake Ontario, that is. Fresh water. So another thing that I fixed was the paper injector. You can select basically the top margin. It's reasonable reliability. Um, i probably post a footage on how to fix that. Um, one thing I dislike is that the paper release is on the left side instead of the right. These are the carriage margin, or the carriage releases. It's just in the tripod. Anyways, pretty much you put it in, read your paper. And comes out ideally with a perfect ideally, that is. Maybe it depends on the weight at which you actually operate it. Mm. Probably wants one more tick. Setting. No, 
now it's a bit too much, but it'll do. Or I'll just adjust it. Yep, so that's your line finder and your spacing adjustment. Paper bale. These paper rollers are a bit off. Okay, typing out here in the hot sun. Uh, because it's going to be raining in the afternoon. I guess the 10 setting was fine. 
sound like a little cricket. Forgetting how to spell. Again, margin. Uh, another thing about the tabulator was that the tab set and tab clear pushers inside the machine were probably bent, whereby I figured that a nice and simple way to fix that is to just access this little capstan screw here, uh, loosen these bolts, and shift this to the left a bit until it was centered with the pushers. So that means this machine is finally fully functional. Oh, I don't know what this thing does. Another nice thing about this machine is the paper stand. Like so, as you can see. Folds up nice and tall. Forgot about it. Um, and I guess one other thing that I might have not really covered was how the carbon ribbon produces substantially sharper type. So first of all already, probably because of the temperature out here, I was surprised with how nice and bold the black ink is right now. But let's see. portions of this ribbon because I can. I guess that's it for the Hermes Ambassador. I'll continue on my typing session. Good day.